We got one over there. Why do we have to pretend that we're not like a human being that can see and perceive that a person is like in front of you trying and attempting to like communicate? As a women. human being? Yeah, like Word. deaf, dumb, and blind. Like, you know, like, why do we have to pretend He's, that we well, don't have intelligence and can't say no, that's, that's we're not, not interested? Okay, I can answer that, dear. I appreciate that question. Do you expect your man to protect you? I mean, like... That's a yes or no, love. Yeah. Fantastic. Now let me help you. Why would you increase his burden, making it harder for him to protect you? No, He's I'm not protector. talking in this instance, like having a man. I'm okay. saying like, if you're just out and about, uh -huh. why do we have to pretend for from his question? That oh, no, we... that's not what he was saying. He was asking if you have ever ignored a man when you were out in the world. Oh, gotcha. So yeah. he was just checking to let you know that you have that ability to ignore a man. Yeah. And what I was saying is that when you're with your man, it's his job to be the shield of his family, the shield of his woman, the shield of his children. But wouldn't it be respectable for your wife or your lady to be able to like shut it down on their own? Also no. be like, I have a I have a man no. by my side. Well, Sorry, no. no disrespect. So the reason why I wouldn't be because the the question was that you're standing with your man, mm -hmm. right? So if, you, if you're standing with your man, that's your man. You don't have to say anything to another man at all. If this man talks to you, you yield to your other man. Say, you don't have to say anything at all. You ignore him just like you ignore other people. That's why he asked that question and you let your man take control of that situation so another man can speak to that other man. Gotcha. Let's elaborate that question a little further for the girls who might be a little lost why I asked that. You may ignore someone out of safety. You actually might ignore someone mm -hmm. out of safety by entertaining the conversation you might feel as if they might do something to you. Now, the reason I asked that is I was like, well, for your safety, when you're alone, you ignore people, right? Mm. I mean, look, if someone's bothering me, how you doing? If someone's bothering me in public, I'm ignoring them. That's what I'm doing. Because I don't want to entertain. If a homeless person came up to you and said, like, right. you got some money, uh, somebody on the strip, like, you, all you girls are trying to ignore them and walk around them, right? And why is that? Because it's just a safety instinct. Right. Like you want to be safe. Yeah. Everyone wants to be safe. Now, you have this man here, and Marco was alliterating that it was uh, out of safety. Right. If you get me into a fight <laughs> or anything, That's I'm going to be so mad at you. That's and then imagine crazy. this. Like, you know, there are women who like to travel alone. There are women who like to do a lot of things that they don't really consider the safety or how their family will respond to it. Somebody might end up trying to kill the person who harmed you, and now they end their ass up in jail. You just I put mean, so much burden on so many people from one little thing. I have a question for you ladies. And let's start with the, I want to start with Rose since she just pulled up. We just going to throw her <laughs> straight into the frying pan. Let me set up a mic. Okay, cool. Yeah, go ahead. Then let's go over here to um, baby girl that's tatted up like she from MS-13. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I have a sleeve too. I don't touch it. You do? Okay, yeah. well, we'll show it if you want me to know it. Yeah. Uh, anyways, do you believe that you need a man? Um, no, I don't. Right. Okay. I then let's go. Let's swing one. all the way around. I love. I love this. I love this. It's gonna be interesting. It's ludicrous. Sleeve. And uh, do you believe yes, that? I do. Thank, that's why I love my Mexican women. I always say I this. I'm. I'm so pro Mexican women. You dig? It's, it's like the, the shelter and protection and safe spot that they provide. Right. For. Our, us if a, you a, have a good man that does that mm -hmm. otherwise no i mean see the so I only like way you would bad. end up with a man that's not a good man is by your own decision you're not in an so arranged that's why marriage I'd rather just be alone yeah see that's bad thinking and it's really <laughs> sad actually mm -hmm. Because it is. No, I agree, but yeah. I've learned that I personally am better off alone because then you don't have to go through like certain yeah. things. Yeah. I am I just take better care of myself. Do you think that you're able to accept leadership and guidance? Uh yeah, if 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 it's coming from the right person, but I notice there's often a caveat with you. It's yeah, never there's there never is. just yes full stop. <laughs> uh let me ask you another question just to see like, how you answer it. Are you able to follow directions? Yeah. I can. Yes. Okay. 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 Very good. And I find it almost sad when a woman says she doesn't need a man. One, because it's just not true. Mm -hmm. And number two, because it's almost like a hopelessness there. 
I don't think so. I think I'm happy alone, honestly. I don't mm -hmm. think I need a man. I would like a man if, uh -huh. if he brings something to the table to where it, I'm better off than I am alone. You don't need a man. No, I, I don't think I need a man. Do you realize that everything you experience in society is because men make it safe for you? Mm. I think women do too. Mm -mm. Or they make it unsafe. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. Wow. Just say I think, I think they make it unsafe. unsafe, to be honest. For sure. You said you think men but make women it unsafe. But women can too. Yeah, I've had women a lot of bad experiences with men, unsafe. so that might you're, you're saying men in relationships, you were in relationships <laughs> yeah. with, right? Yes. Okay, so that's due to your decision making. So what we really have to do is go back to the accountability. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying there aren't bad men. There's a ton of them. Mm -hmm. But we also have yeah. to consider there are probably women that are the same age as you who cannot speak to that same experience of having dealt with bad men. There's For some sure. women who say, all the men I know are good men. My father was a great man. My brother are great men. I was introduced to a good man, and I'm married to him right now. We have two kids. You know yeah. there are people with that story, right? Yeah, I right? just don't have that experience personally. Correct. Mm -hmm. Now, how was your father? I don't know my real father. Um, I have a stepdad who's like been in my life my whole life, but mm -hmm. I don't really want to talk about it. Sure, sure. Fair enough. Okay. Now, you feel like at this age in your life, were you 30? 32. 32. At this age in your life, at the advanced age of 32, I'm messing with you. Uh, <laughs> hey. hey. advanced hey. age. I am. I'm a state I of 32. Um, but at this age, do you believe that if you encountered a good man, you would be able to recognize him um, and you'd be open to him? I think that it would be too scary for me, honestly. I'd be too scared to get like in a very... like safe relationship because then I could lose that. You know what I mean? So you have an understanding of yourself. I respect yeah, no, that I do. very much. And yeah. that is scary to me. And I don't think I could handle that mentally. Yes. So it is safer for like me to, to be like yourself. dating, you know, like yes. kind of just taking it easy and not really expecting anything. And then most yeah. women are self saboteurs, but they don't know it. Like they screw themselves up and they don't know it, but you are actually aware that I'm you are aware. almost scared of something that's good. Yeah, no, I am. I know I go after guys who I know it's probably not going to work out with. Cause I know how that ends. Yeah. If it's a good guy that might work out and that's scary. Cause then I could lose that person, you know? Mm -hmm. Wow. That that's, that was deep. Yeah, I know. I know. Psychology yeah. major. Dr. Phil. <laughs> <Dr. Phil> <laughs> And what about you? Do you think that if you, I already know what she's thinking. She doesn't even realize. I already know what she's thinking. I've been hearing her thoughts the whole time. Mm -hmm. I think you're wrong about her. You mm -hmm. think I'm wrong about her? Yes, I think. Okay, what am I wrong about? Well, one, I think the motorcycle is just like a tomboy, but not like so masculine. She actually loves masculine men. She loves being in her feminine energy. She loves being told what to do you know most of the time i'm like really hmm. <laughs> i can't believe it Half she disagrees time, we have very different types well we know what women love of course they love a masculine man um but the thing is that you love something but can she she can't really keep that masculine Jeez. man scares the masculine mm -hmm. man away not really mm -hmm. scares him away uh it's more like she doesn't qualify for the masculine man Masculine man, he has standards and expectations. A feminine woman, she has standards and expectations. Usually the more feminine a woman is, the more of a masculine man she wants. Actually, I would say the more of a masculine man a woman is, the more, the more of a masculine that woman is, the more masculine man she needs to put her in her place. I agree so, but that. masculine men, we tend to have these standards. We want our opposite. Exactly. Like you want the, the, the woman wants her opposite. She's very feminine or she's just naturally a woman. So she wants a masculine man. Men were masculine. So we're looking for a feminine woman. I don't know what y'all was talking about because I was fixing the cameras. But uh, elaborate a little bit on what I missed out on. I was yeah. telling him I think he's wrong about her. I don't know what you were about to say. I kind of have a feeling. Uh -huh. But yeah, and I think it's not just masculinity because there's also toxic masculinity. So you can you can no. attract the no, wrong. No, there's talk. nothing about masculinity that's toxic. In fact, everything about masculinity is what creates the foundation of society. Like, for example, you're from Brazil. I've been there many times. It's completely uh, morally decayed place. I've mm -hmm. never seen a place where you have like 12 year old girls in thong bikinis. There's that's no crazy. morality whatsoever in Brazil. Wow, you said 12? That's 12 year old crazy. children in yeah, thong that's crazy. bikinis. And it's like everyday stuff. And what's worse, even the 80 year old women are also in thong bikinis. Like they don't know when to give it up. Dang. And you know, sex is, is such a sex driven culture that you have a whole butt surgery named after your country. That's embarrassing and despicable. There are such things as high cultures and low cultures. For example, American culture is in decline 
in right now. That's precisely why we speak on podcasts like this, trying to offer some good knowledge. But often, even people who need knowledge are fighting it. Like, for example, this young, le- young lady right here, I can see the sweetness in her. But she even said herself, if she encountered a good man, she would rebuke him. And that's why you got to be the super villain. Which one said this? In the pink. And the pink. So wait, this was a little sweet face. I told, I told her okay. off you know, from the neck up. From I, the neck know, up, she's sweet. The saint in the center. That is a fact. Okay. Yeah. Wait, you said that if you, you scare good men away, say that again. What no, did you say? No, I said, said that I would probably be scared of a relationship with like a really a good, good man. man. Yeah. Because and, and, and the reason, did you, is the, the reason why you're scared of that is because you know deep down in your soul that you're not he doesn't deserve, you don't deserve him. Kinda, yeah, wow, honestly, wow. yeah. Like, I don't want to say that because I feel like it's putting me down, but kinda, I think that is part yeah, of it. Like, I'm like, facts. I'm not, yeah. good, like, he, someone like that would deserve a good girl. Who, yeah. I have a past, so I yeah. I really do, I'm like, you know what I mean? That is part You could of it, be a good girl, but no, a guy is going to, what's that? I can be, but right. when I am, the guy goes for a bad girl and cheats on me with, so I'm like, I'm going to just Are do me Are you hung then. up on cheat? Now, now we're getting deep here. <laughs> you, yeah, you, let's not get into that. Cheating matters to you? Um, I Are, think that's also cheating? like the other reason why I like to be alone because I don't like to have to worry about that. Like the double standard of let me help being you not controlled, worry about that. but then the dude gets to do whatever he I wants. I got you. Let, let me free you of that. Say you get a great man and a good man, mm-hmm. and he says, I'm with you till the end, as long as you're loyal, submissive, feminine, and obedient. And I would also like to have the same arrangement with this nice young lady here, who is not the same as you, but is just as good a woman and deserves a good man. You are now aware. Can we proceed? Yeah, I honestly, I would be perfectly okay with mm-hmm. the honesty, because yes. that is all I want, is like... You know, like straight up. And, and you can, can we fall- be friends? Like, you I know hope what I mean? you would like, be friends. I, I, in but, fact, I hope you would be family. Yeah, that that is something that I am open to. But the that's lying and like the gaslighting and stuff, that's right. not good for me. So, so I'm like, I would rather to not. a man being honest with you like, hey, you're very, uh, what's your name again? I'm sorry. Caress. 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 I'm I don't know how you forgot that. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, saying I forgot <laughs> to tell you, the chat knows I suck with names. Yeah, okay. yeah. Someone can <laughs> tell me their name a thousand and one times. What's up? Oh, okay. Um, okay. Someone can tell me their name a thousand and one times and it's just going to disappear from my mind, but I will try to remember. Um, anyway, so you're pretty much saying that you, you know, you feel like you don't deserve a good man because of pretty much based off of your past or maybe what mm-hmm. you currently do. So it's like, ah, I don't really deserve this guy. This guy's too good. Let me, you know, let him go. Um, and then you also said that you would accept a relationship from a man um, that is honest with you about him being open on his end, but closed on yours, right? Yeah. Okay. If he's open about it. If he's open about yeah. it. Got you. I think it's like the I don't think part, that's like true. To well, most of you don't think that I would be okay with yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't think I'd be okay with it, you're saying? So... Most men lie their way around to get women and to keep the woman. They do, you know, devious actions of telling you a dream, giving you a dream, but also, you know, doing things behind your back. Right. Um, And they do this because we just naturally know that women can't handle the truth. You can't handle the truth. But have you ever even been a have you ever met a man that was that truthful with you? No. But that is how I am now. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to just be completely honest. And if you don't like that, you have to leave. Like, so. Okay, uh, chat. one of y'all slide in her DMs and see <laughs> if she can handle the truth. <laughs> we got to find out. Uh, but fair enough, fair enough. Um, where was we at? Uh, wasn't, was, I think you had a question. You were saying something, right? No, no? you said you wanted me to ask a Shorty question or was... something. I just, I have... I don't like a lot of topics. She was talking about how she gonna pull out the forty Glock. Yeah. How many times <laughs> you've been locked up before, Shorty? <laughs> I mean, before I sit on the can, record, can you just or put like your mic after. up a little closer? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Grand a few <laughs> times. Yeah, a few times. I was at the wrong place at the wrong time. Those innocent. All of them got dismissed. I don't have any felonies. You know, I'm not going. So. But you've been arrested like five times. Yeah, like five or six. That's what's up. Five yeah. or six times. It's not what's up, but you know it happens. But you know. Yeah. Not, not anymore. Not, I haven't I been there in a while, so we're not going back.